up guys, this is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I have a quick project that I'm going to do in front of you. I've been trying to build a PC for everything that I do, mostly for video editing. Right now I have this MacBook Pro, I think it's a 2018 MacBook Pro with 16 gig of RAM and um, 2.9 gigahertz of uh, CPU. It's good, it does the job right now. Everything I've been doing on my channel, it's on this MacBook here. But right now, I think I deserve something stronger because I want to produce more videos and also for my own training and everything that I do here. So I'm building a new Windows PC and we're going to put it together, together so you can see exactly how it's done. The goal is to have something powerful, something that can um, help me edit 4K or even do YouTube Live in 4K or anything about that. If I want to get the exact same specs that I'm trying to build on a new laptop or on a, a pre-built um, desktop, it's going to be very expensive. But this one here, I spent around $1,400 and this is what's giving me. I think it's going to be powerful and good for the money. So it's going to have 32 gigs of RAM and uh, uh, four and 3.6 gigahertz of CPU. That's that's good. That's uh, that's that's fast All right, so for the different elements that I have here first of all, I have the case This is the computer case that I choose we're going to open that very soon and then I do have the motherboard This is an MSI motherboard gaming edge Wi-Fi uh, From what I'm reading it's good and um, it's going to do the job um, I also have the CPU here. This is the i9 um, the Intel i9 uh, CPU the 10th generation and I do have this one terabyte of SSD very fast mostly for video editing I can put the videos here and it's going to be quick and I have just a regular um, SSD for um, editing as well and for storage I have this four terabyte Seagate drive and this is the power supply so everything is actually in the description if you want to check it out so this is the power supply and these are the the memories the RAM so I have 32 gigs here and then I have a video card, mostly for video editing. I need a, um, a strong and powerful video card. Hey, Guy here with a quick update. After a few weeks, I noticed that the video card that I bought was not optimized for Adobe Premiere Pro. So I had to change it. And I bought this one from Amazon. Um, it's less expensive than what I had before and has four gig of memory instead of eight. But it's still good, it does the job well and uh, I don't have any issue with it. All the links to the items that I mentioned here are in the description or in the blog that I posted on kbtrains.com. And I also have the CPU cooler right here. So I'm going to open everything and we're going to build this. Alright, so first of all I was planning to uh, shoot everything live while I was building it and explain everything to you. But then uh, it ran too long and it took me about four to five hours to finish everything. So I just decided to do this voice over here so I won't spend a lot of time and I will not show you all the steps but I'm going to explain the main steps that you have to, uh, to take here. So the first one is to take care of your um, computer case first and you have all the instructions coming with it so you don't really have to worry. Um, you have all the papers explaining all the steps that you need to take to get everything connected and hooked up uh, Like you can see here, so you can just take your time and read So you don't have to have experience or you don't have to have built this before to be a good at least. So it was my first time and uh, I didn't have any issue. That's why I took my time. That's why it took me four hours and this is a very good thing that I can recommend to anybody because uh, the price that I paid for this almost $1,400 total and the power that I have from this computer, mostly for video editing, it's really mind-blowing because I know some iMac or some other expensive computers that are about uh, $5,000 or $7,000, but I guess they pretty much have the same power as what I just built here. So yeah, when you get your case ready, it's going to come, as I said, with all the documents and all the cables that you need um, to connect to the motherboard or to anything else inside. So the next thing is the power supply. We're going to install it inside the case, as you can see here. And um, it has a lot of cables as well. Some cables will go to the motherboard. Some will go to some other components like the graphic card. And just make sure everything is ready and tight uh, before moving to the next step. And after that, we insert all the disks and we also uh, attached the disks that are going to be on the, on the case because some of the disks will be inside on the motherboard. Uh, but these regular SSDs or the HDD are going to be 
uh, mounted on the case. So after that, you can unpack your motherboard. So we have the motherboard here, as you, as you can see it. Um, so first, what I think, I mean, what I forgot to do is to install the CPU before installing the motherboard. But it's recommended to mount your CPU on the motherboard uh, before uh, uh, tightening your motherboard to, to the case. Um, in my case, I mean, I forgot to do it, but it's fine. Um, I did it afterward and uh, didn't have any any problem. So when you install your your motherboard and um, uh, make sure everything is uh, is tight, you also need to connect all the cables to the motherboard. Uh, some cables are coming from the power supply. Some other cables from the case where you have all the different ports, you know, the the USB and uh, and everything and the fans as well. And all the cables have instructions, and you're going to see those instructions in the documents that you have, so you shouldn't have any problem at this step here. And then, uh, as I told you, I, I now install my CPU on the motherboard. So after after installing the CPU on the motherboard, I also installed my RAM, and I have two sticks of uh, 16 gigs, so I have 32 gigs total. And uh, after installing the the motherboard i mean the the memories i also install the the cpu cooling system and this is um this is a water cooling system so it has uh those fans that you can see there the the white fans those will help cool water that is circulating and also uh taking the heat of, of the cpu so after that i also installed all the internal disks the ones that are installed i have to install directly on the on the motherboard and uh, right now this is the uh, i mean when i started i had a single uh, ssd the nvme but i had to buy another one afterwards so i have two of them installed directly on the motherboard and then i installed the graphic card and connected it to the to the power supply and also to the motherboard without any problem and then the last step was to install the OS. As you can see, I'm installing Windows. I'm actually uh, just recovering a system that I have on my Windows laptop. So I uh, I cloned that and then installed it in this system here, and it works just fine. So now we now I'm using the actual PC, and it's great. Here we have the task manager in the desktop. You can see that the CPU is being used gently. Um, it can boost up to 5.20 gigahertz, which is a lot. I've never been there, but it's kind of hard to max out this CPU because it's just so strong. I also have, right now I'm using 17 gig of the 32 gig of memory. Uh, so this is also a very good thing, mostly for video, because you need a lot of memory to process um, all the, the files that you are trying to render. I have all my disks here. I have five of them. Um, we also can see the GPU here, the graphic card. Um, it's also good. It's it's, it's powerful. Uh, mostly when you are rendering your your video, it can be maxed out. But uh, yeah, the CPU also uh, has some work to do there to help out. All right, that's it for this video. I'm very happy with the result at the end. The computer is very powerful. It actually goes beyond my expectations. And it's also saving me a lot of time when it comes to video editing and rendering because a project that could have taken like an hour with the MacBook can take easily 15 minutes or 10 minutes with this computer here. So I'm very happy with it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment or uh, send me an email. You can also subscribe if you like tech, if you are like me and want to see more of my more projects like this one thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one take care